All right, so I'll try to explain the best how this works. Uh, this robot was built in two weeks. We didn't have a medium flex wheel since uh, we just got permission to order them the other day. So I made this thing instead. Uh, because of this, the chain does skip when the wheel's going, or when the disc is going up, but it still works pretty good. I do have a problem where the disc set stuck on this plexiglass up here that I'm still working on. It's just because the way how this is so far up, um, my flywheel actually has four different speeds. So the aero controls do seven, eight, nine, and 10 volts. So it kind of looks something like this. And then I can stop it with that. I got the intake control here. So you would just feed it a disc or the, it would, the robot would go into the disc. It goes up like that and into that. And then you set your speed. I'm gonna do, uh, uh, so you set your speed. I'm gonna do 10 volts. So just go to the max that I want. I don't do 12 volts because it's too powerful. And then you press B and like that. So uh, uh, there's two pneumatic tanks here. I do have to clip all these zip ties today before my comp tomorrow, but there's two pneumatic cylinders here that go into the uh, double acting solenoid, which redirects into a double acting piston. And this piston, basically when I press B, um, it just pushes the disc up into a flywheel. And this uh, spacer here is for a roller. So when the discs, like when I'm stacking two discs, for example, I'll show you when I, when I stack two discs. When this gets underneath this disc, that will roll under it instead of the metal getting stuck on it. So, for example. So, yeah, this is what I mean by it gets stuck. Normally, you can just, like, shake our robot, and then it gets back in place. But once again, it's out. But anyway, you just shake the robot until it gets back in place and you can shoot again. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. My thought is maybe to put like uh, the, these roller things uh, here instead of plexiglass as well. Obviously, I, I won't have time for that tomorrow, so I'm going to have to deal with this and hope I make it to States because it's my last qualifier. If I make it to States, then uh, uh, next week will just be me working on getting the wheels not stuck and programming Auton. So, but yeah.